Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Flemish almond cookies, um, which come from Belgium, and they're called Amando Cookie. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, and they come from the Flemish region of Belgium, where they speak Flemish. And um, these are an almond cookie with um, egg whites and ground almonds, sugar, and almond extract. Made in the shape of a tartine, which is a slice of bread used to make an open-faced sandwich. So in French, um, which they also speak in Belgium, uh, they would call them tartine flamande. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need three cups of blanched almonds. If you can't find blanched almonds at the grocery store, you can make your own. To blanch, pour whole raw almonds into boiling water for two to three minutes, then strain into a colander. Once cool enough to touch, pinch each almond and the skin should pop right off. Once the almonds have had their skins removed, place on top of a kitchen towel on a baking tray and let dry for a couple of hours. The almonds do need to be fully dried and cooled before processing in the food processor for this recipe. If it's easier, you can do this the day before you decide to make these cookies. Next, place three cups of the blanched dried almonds in the food processor and grind to a fine powder. Next, add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of almond extract and process until combined. Now you're going to separate 10 eggs. For this recipe, you're only going to use the whites, but make sure to save those 10 egg yolks because in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make an egg liqueur from the Netherlands called Advocat. Make sure that your eggs are at room temperature before starting. Try not to get any egg yolks into the whites when separating the eggs. If you do though, as long as it's not a lot, you can use one of the egg shells to pull out the egg yolk from the white mixture. As you can see from the last few seconds of this clip, there are two ways of separating egg whites from egg yolks. You can use the shell or you can actually pour the egg into your hand, hold the egg yolk and let the white fall through your fingers. Now add a pinch of salt to the whites. Using the whisk attachment of your mixer, beat the whites until they've reached stiff peaks. Making a meringue can be tricky because if you underbeat the whites, the end result of your cookies or whatever it is you're making will be affected and it won't be the texture you're looking for. But if you overbeat the whites, the whites will separate. So as you're nearing the end and you can see the whites coming together and forming peaks, you might want to slow down your mixer so you can see right when you should stop so that you don't overbeat them. This is the consistency you're looking for for this recipe. Now transfer the whites to a large bowl and alternating with two cups of sugar and your almond mixture, fold them into the whites. First the sugar, then the almonds and back and forth until it's fully combined. Careful not to mix too vigorously. You don't want to deflate the whites. You still want to have a fluffy mixture.
Now on a parchment lined baking sheet, spoon golf ball size amounts of the mixture onto the baking sheet and smooth with the back of the spoon into a rectangle, three inches by one and a half inches. This is the traditional shape of these cookies. They make them into the shape of a tartine, which is a slice of bread used to make an open face sandwich. After spreading the mixture and before putting in the oven, sprinkle each cookie with slivered almonds. Now bake the cookies in a 375 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 17 to 20 minutes. The outside edges should be brown and the inside should still remain pale. If the cookies stick to the parchment, pour a small amount of cold water underneath the parchment paper. Wait 30 seconds before using a spatula to remove. The steam created will release the cookies. there you go. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you decided to give it a try and how it turned out. And like I said in my last video, um, let me know in the comments if there are any European recipes that you'd like to see me make in future videos. I will always add them to my list of things to make. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much.